Hallo, as they say in Holland. Today's clue is Dutch town with a namesake cheese. The answer will take us on a deep dive to some very far down places, or Netherlands. It's time for a crossword show solo. Hi everybody and welcome, I'm your host Zach Sherwin. Today's solo starts in the town from the clue, which, like the cheese that shares its name, is called Edom. Edom the town is a port city, not far from Amsterdam, that is most famous for its signature dairy product, which is traditionally sold in flat-ended spheres with a rind of red paraffin wax. You might be familiar with these widely distributed Edom products from Baby Bell. Now, Baby Bell's parent company is called Le Groupe Bell, and another of their cheese brands is the Laughing Cow. A close look at the cow in the logo reveals that her earrings actually depict the Laughing Cow logo itself including the cow, who is of course wearing those same earrings. This picture in a picture technique is often referred to as the Drosta effect, after the artwork on the packaging of Drosta brand cocoa powder, which shows a nurse holding a tray on which sits a box of Drosta cocoa powder depicting that same nurse. It turns out that lots of other food products also have Drosta affected packaging. There's Morton Salt with the iconic Morton Salt pouring girl as well as the original artwork for Land O'Lakes Butter, in which a kneeling indigenous woman presents a package of the product to the consumer. This mascot has proved controversial. And as of early 2020, the company began quietly phasing her out. Here's what a box of Land O'Lakes looks like nowadays. I'm sad that there's one fewer example of the Drasta effect out there in the world, but it's definitely worth it to get rid of packaging that many people and advocacy groups objected to. That said, It would be very easy to tweak the new artwork so as to restore its drastiness, something like this. Just a pound of LOL floating there all serene-like. And before we move on, here is a box of DeCecco spaghetti. The artwork depicts a woman holding sheaves of wheat. In this vintage advertising poster though, one of those sheaves has been replaced by a box of DeCecco brand noodles, or as we might call them, Drasta pasta. So far, we've been looking at examples of pictures appearing within themselves. But this is a crossword show solo. Could the Drasta effect somehow be applied to language? Well, consider this grouping of four letters. If we place a second grouping of those same four letters inside it, Drasta style, like so, we wind up with the word pre-press, which is a real term used in the printing and publishing industries. Here's another example of a Drasta word. If you start with the letter grouping P-O-F and insert a second P-O-F inside it, you can get the phrase pop off, which has numerous definitions. To me, the most familiar is to speak frankly, as in popping off at the mouth, though it apparently can also mean to do very well and to leave and return in a short time, and even to release flatulence, in most cases in short, rapid succession. So my date last night was really popping off, right? Until, while getting up to pop off to the bathroom, I popped off! I was so embarrassed I wanted to pop off. In the sense of definition number two, to die suddenly. But my favorite naturally occurring Drosta word is formed by taking the letters T-I-C-A and inserting T-I-C-A inside to get Titicaca, the name of a large, deep body of freshwater on the border of Bolivia and Peru, a region that's also known as the Land O' Lake Titicaca. I called that my favorite naturally occurring example of a Drasta word, but contrived ones can be very fun too. D-A-S with D-A-S inside it gives you dad ass, which is presumably part of a dad bod. Or how about this one? As a verb, to read something means to thatch it. So if you decided to read your roof and then it became necessary to do the job over again, you could say that you re-readed it. And finally, these letters can be placed inside themselves to yield edum edamame, ha, meh, which I do hope is more ha than meh. And with that, we are back to edum, the cheese named after a Dutch town, which is in the greater Amsterdam metro area along with a city called Harlem, where in 1863, the Drasta Chocolate Manufacturing Company was founded. 
Like red paraffin wax with a mini round of baby bell still inside, that's full circle. I'm Zach Sherwin, and this has been a Crossword Show Solo. Three super quick last things. First, according to Drasta's Wikipedia page, their parent company nowadays is called Hasta. That's fun. Second, if any of you can come up with killer examples of Drasta words or phrases, don't be shy about sharing them. I'd love to see what you got. And finally, while I made up the concept of Drasta words, or at least I think I did, I'm not totally convinced that the name Drasta words is unbeatable for this genre of wordplay. So if any of you can coin a better one, I will happily give you credit for co-coining it. <laughs>